the uh, the power company went through up there by the road cleared a uh, cleared all the underbrush and uh, had this big grinder thing on the front of a, a tractor went through and you can see where they've ground this off with that big wheel but see this was growing out of the side of a uh, out of a maple tree and uh, from the base and I figured if this crack right here doesn't run too far in I might can make some stuff out of this so we're gonna cut it up with the uh, with the cross cut uh, and see how much stuff we can get out of this one section it's about three and a half feet long you know so thick I figured the grain see how wavy this grain is it's gonna be real pretty See, we're already getting see that'd be good for a spoon probably I'm gonna set it down there same thing goes for that It'd be good for a spoon this is all fresh wood they didn't cut this but about a couple weeks ago or maybe a, yeah, a couple weeks ago I'm gonna start pinching here in a minute bump the camera all right so I don't know if it'll focus on it but you can see it's cracked there, but this would be good for something. This is the main part I'm after. I was kind of looking for, which I don't know that there's going to be enough. Maybe this piece here. We'll see what we can do. So I did bust it apart with the hatchet. This burl here, this knob on the inside and outside, it's got a hole up through the middle. So I'm not sure how much I can use of it. The other half is this one. And on this end, see it's got this crack where they broke the tree. On this end, it's got this, and I think that's a crack. But this is not a crack, this is a bacteria. I don't know but anyway we'll see what we can make out of it all right so the wind is blowing again it's just gonna be windy we took that main chunk that had the crack through it and it was a crack see how it's wet in there and we split it right here on this so to kind of see what we're gonna end up with here Yeah, that might be a crack there too. I'm not sure how that's gonna work out. We'll see. But I know we gotta, we're gonna pare it down and see what it is. I would hope that it doesn't have too many more cracks in it. This kind of maple is fairly tough because of the grain going everywhere. through about five different directions on the grain. All right, so it's got a crack right here. I'm opening that up. 
So let's see where that comes out. And the goal of all of this is just to see how much I can get out of that piece that I salvaged. That's it. Alright, so that crack worked its way out. Yeah, that's definitely a crack there. Because I can spread it some right here. So this piece might just make a good sized spoon. So let's see here. This piece is uh, that piece with the big burl in it, big knot. It's got a hole in it down to this side. I'm not sure what can be made of it. Uh, we'll see. All right, so I didn't want to say anything in case I didn't make it work. But what I was after in the big piece, I can use all the smaller pieces for spoons, but I wanted to make, I haven't made a kooksa in a long time, a wooden cup. So I'm going to make a wooden cup. That's my experience. This, uh, this grain on this is all over the place. So it's going to be extremely difficult to get it the way I want it. I'm going to come in, say I can still got the the tear off part most of that bark slipped real easy and uh, we'll see uh a flatter part for my uh, top so that I can get all the edges even but I think that's deep enough that's about two and a quarter inches deep so I'm gonna try and this Norland is my carry axe the one I use for everything it's really supposed to be on a uh, short axe handle and I put it on a hatchet handle because I use it for carving and the short axe handle kept getting me and uh, so this uh, I have bigger axes for doing for chopping firewood and stuff this one pretty much just does wood carving my dad got this head on a uh, on a uh, board handle somebody had made a board handle for it that was real flat sided and uh, real narrow at a uh, at dog days in Ardmore Alabama and uh, I put this handle on it and see it's got a good wide base on it I shaped it the way I wanted it uh, it's tight I linseed oil everything and when they start to get loose put some linseed oil on the top and let it soak in and they'll swell back up and they'll be just fine and they'll stay that way for years all right, so you can see I'm shaping it down some. I want it kind of hand size. Uh, working the handle side down. This grain is very, very twisted and contrary here. It's gonna look really nice if it ever gets finished without tearing it up, but the grain is not something you can see. Even the pieces that you cut off come out with a wave to them where the grain, where they're following the grain. chunk you could take out half of your uh, half of your carving half your cup whatever you're carving uh, so you want to follow it slow also you want to keep your hand well back don't bring your hand up above what you're doing I mean your axe up above what you're doing you'll get you might can get into your hand if you get into your hand you can hurt yourself bad and right now nobody wants to go to the hospital time a long time of the century see even right now I'm leery of this see I've got my hand over this so I could come down and use it as a chopping block if I'm not careful so see I'm coming out of it kind of like a spoon at a certain point I'm gonna switch over to my carving knife and my bowl gouge and I'll work this down with a knife 